everyone, welcome to Overlook Bay Part 2 of Arcadia. And I know we are all excited to see what they have in store for us. We've seen a lot of leaks, but the real thing is finally here. So let's go on inside. I am going to change my outfit for the event. And then we're going to head on over to Arcadia, shall we? Let's see. We are going to be wearing something more for the ocean. It's not... There we go. Oh, it was just a little day, but here we are. I am in my bathing suit with a little jacket to go with it. So why don't we head on over to Arcadia, shall we? I am really excited to see what it is like down there under the sea. <laughs> okay, but before we head there, let me go and see if this is going to work. I actually put my house on my other avatar under the sea already. And it doesn't put me directly to there. Oh, it doesn't keep me under the sea. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's it's absolutely fine. I just want to make sure. All right. So let me click to my penthouse over here. And then what I'm going to do is from there, I am going to what just happened. Oh, here we go. I am going to teleport to myself. To me. Let's see. I keep clicking the wrong button. Ah, here we go. There we are. We are in Ocadia right now. And now we are going to head on over to Under the Sea. Oh, it worked out that way. Okay. Give me a moment because it is very hard to handle two avatars at one time. <laughs> but now you know how we do our videos. <laughs> With great, great, great difficulty. Okay, now where do I need to go for under the sea? Okay, that is a... Uh, that is a... Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go there. And then from there, I'm going to teleport again. Let's do that. I think that will be so much easier. And the reason why I have to do this is because I end up recording and forgetting to correct the screen because the type of program that I have, you can actually record the full screen or a small amount and I forgot to make it big. So now I need both avatars. So here we are in Under the Sea Arcadia. Let's Under the Sea Acadia, which looks awesome, don't you agree? I look like I should be able to swim here, but they don't allow you to swim here. We can walk under, and this is the first part where we teleport back to where we came from. And here we are in the pet shop. We have not just the pet shop, but we have the abyss. We have the mermaid treasure hunt, and then we're going to check out the pet shop first because I know that is like the ultimate all time what everybody is interested in check this place out this looks like the kingdom of Triton isn't this awesome and so we have here new pets to collect making these pets are just our regular pets, as you can see, which is 140. And then we have the ocean pets, which is 20. So the goal is, can we get all 20 of the ocean pets? Okay, and we have a new wheel. And on the wheel, it actually helps us with the double looms, which is the treasure that we find upstairs, to help us to buy either the parrots or the fishing rod. But let's see, I have 1,700 pet pods. Not pet pods, pets. <laughs> Ah, uh, poor, poor coins. And we are going to see how many... <gasps> oh my goodness, that's a double loons. Okay, awesome. I need some. There's only 15 right now, but that's okay. I need as many as possible. Let's see how much more I can get out of here. You know what? Coins would be... Well, gems would be fine because I would love to buy me a lot of pet pods. But you know what? I will take what I get. Oh, more? Yes! Okay, I'm getting more. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Matter of fact, I just got double did what I got the last time. Okay, this is awesome. So, alright. So, this is looking good. So, let's do some more. And see what happens. What did I, okay, those are C's. I am... I really want the C. Okay, as much as I'm happy with the double loom and not getting diamonds, I would like to see the seeds. I wonder if I can get the seeds. I really want to see what they are and what they look like when I plant. 
Will they allow me to? <laughs> They're gonna give me a lot of these. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Okay, I, I need them, right? I do need them. But I would have would have wanted to trust the cheese, but it's fine. Yeah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> it looks like okay. Could I get this on a twenty-five double no? <laughs> oh, and then they have a treasure pot. That would be nice to get. Just a curiosity of what you can get out of the treasure pot. But it's fine. The double loon is good because there are things I want to buy with the, with the double loon. <laughs> Looks like that's all I'm gonna get is double loot. I can get one more because this mini wheel actually costs 200 uh, poor coins, whereas the one on this earth or <laughs> on dry land actually costs 100. So there is a huge difference. So we do have to level up our pets a lot more. Okay, and I have diamonds. I end up with gems. All right, so let's check out what else is here. We have Piercy is actually guarding this door and. Let's just see what he says. He says, this is a top secret area. You're not allowed to enter by the order of the Poyaston. Forgive me if I pronounce that word wrong. But we have that. So the desk there is telling us there's more to come. Then we have Coletta. This is the spa area. Coletta is actually selling these. And you should see the food that is here. It is absolutely wild. You have a fish flake shake. You have the biscuit. You have the deep sea mystery roll. The fish soup. Fish flakes. Pancake butter and ocean cake. <laughs> that is that is crazy. All right, so let's pick these out and see what they look like. Okay, there we go. We have that. So let's see. We have. Let's go to. Here we go. The fish soup is literally in a can. The fish soup is literally in a can, already open for you and ready to drink <laughs> okay and then this here the dc mystery roll i don't what makes it mystery is mystery fish okay so but this reminds me of the banana the banana one on earth on dry land you say and then we have the the pancakes with butter uh what are these pancakes made out of um what fish are you using as flour to make this is my question and the let's let's see uh fish flakes um who would like to try it first <laughs> oh, okay, and then we have some fish flakes, which is in a can already open for us to eat. And the last but not least, we also have the biscuits, which looks like the one, the pet biscuits, except it's blue. Alright, so now let's head on over to the other side, is which is where the pet pods are. And let's see what we can get from here. Veronica is here, and let's see what she has to say. She's like, well, hello, Ami. Would you like to be interested in learning what pet tickets are? Uh, no, not really. So, I just want to shop. So, wow, they have the treasure pod, which is $17.50, the pearl pod, which is $12.50, and then the bubble pod, which is beautifully designed with gemstones and, and necklace chains, which is gorgeous. So, I want to get one of each, and then we can check them out, shall we? Alright, so, oops. <laughs> Okay, let's just do it this way. So we're gonna get this one. Oh, look at the diamond in the middle of it. That is so cool. And then this is the pearl, and then this is the bubble one. It's 3,050, okay, just for one of each. Okay, so we have that. I think that is very creative that they made it that way. But overall, because, okay, these might give you godly 6%, but that's not guaranteed. So, but you have a better chance. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go for, so I can purchase more, is the pet pod, the bubble pod, and let's just hope for the best, shall we? I'm just going to get as many as I can purchase. Oh no, I threw one accidentally. Let's see what I get. <laughs> okay, I wasn't ready to throw it yet. Oh, look at that. Isn't that adorable? We're going to check it out even further later. So let's keep going.
Okay, so I don't be completely broke like I did the last time. I'm going to stop there. And we have 22 here, and then I have some on Yuki. So let's go together to Yuki. Let's go head up out to Yuki. And we're going to all open the pods together. Um, where should we go for that? What do you think? Should we go upstairs or should we open them right here in their habitat? I think we should open it right here in their habitat, don't you? So let's go and do that, shall we? Okay, so we're going to stay right here. And we're just going to open it right here. All right, Yuki, go ahead. Let's see what you have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, what's next? Oh! I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Is that an alligator? Wow, okay, that is a lot of difference. So, so, so far, Yuki was able to get, let me see, eight of the 20, eight of the 20 new pets. Okay, I have one, we'll look at that later, so let's check and see what else we have here, shall we? Here we go, so now it's time for Yuki to pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so here we are. I'm going to start out with the pearl pod. I believe that was, well, you know what? I'm not going to name them. Let's just, just see, okay? <laughs> Let's just see. Okay, so I don't want Yuki to block, so we're going to sit here and watch everything now. <laughs> okay, here's the treasure pod. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's let's pull out some more. Let's see what's this one. Oh, it's 
that a walrus? Oh my goodness. Finally finished. Finally finished opening all the new pods. Okay, so we're gonna let me make sure that Yuki has no more pods on her side. Okay. Okay, no more new pods on this side. Okay, awesome. All right, so we're gonna go check out all the new pets. I wanna have, let me see, let me see how many I have. Okay, I'm kinda of excited to see how many, I hope. Wait, I only have nine, nine of the 20? Oh my goodness, I only have nine of the 20. Wait, okay, all right, it's, okay. And then Yuki had, had purchased the three of the nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so technically I have 12, okay. Well, let's check out the 12 of the new pets that we did get. I was really hoping that I was gonna try to get them all. We didn't even get any, not one godly. There's three godlies and we only, I only have one and that was the one I purchased. And same thing for the legendary. I didn't get any legendary except for the one that was purchased, right? Is that, was this a say? Yes. Oh, but I did get one ultra rare, which is a clam. Oh my goodness, these pets were so amazing. I really thought that this hermit crab and this <laughs> bunny would have been one of the legendaries or ultra rare. But it's not, which means something else some more amazing is going to be. Oh, I actually think I do see the... Oh, is this Stingray? Oh, one of my favorite pets is actually an ultra rare. And I haven't received it. Maybe I can trade it for something. Okay, well, hmm. Okay, let's check out the pets that we do have. Which one of them is the clownfish? As you can see here, the clownfish is, oh my goodness, I think it's the eyes that makes it absolutely more adorable than it already is. And then you have it, it is a common, but it's still adorable and I know just like the snail, a lot of people are going to want this clownfish, especially if they are fans of Finding Nemo. And then we have the sea bunny. The way it hops is just too adorable. And the ears is just, oh my goodness. How? Ah. Okay, we have been thrown out of the water and we are back on dry land. Back at the penthouse in Arcadia. So we're gonna just finish looking at the pets right here, shall we? Okay, Yuki can continue with what pets she has. 
So we had, oh, see, it was easier when it was in the beginning because I can actually just say, this is new, this is new, this is new. And I have to look through and see which ones are the new pets. <laughs> Hold on a moment. All right, um, let's see. Okay, the Norwell is not a new one, but it is an ocean. Uh, let's see. Okay, so one of the ones that were purchased was this one, which was the Princess Jellyfish. And Princess Jellyfish is a godly pet. We have the... Let's see. We have the Legendary Shark. Oh, wow, so I did get a Legendary. It probably didn't update. Okay, well, then I have a Legendary Shark, as you can see. So we have the Legendary Shark. And let me bring back up the, the Jellyfish, because we didn't really get to look at her. Her beauty. Let's see, where is she? Okay, I just saw you. Where are you? Here we go. Okay, so here she is. This is the princess jellyfish. And with a little crown on her head, which is so adorable. Oh my goodness. It is really cute. She is definitely the princess that she is. Okay, and then we have the... Okay, let's see. Let's go back to the other one. I am the shark, which I think is absolutely adorable with their little eyes and the pink, the little pink cheek. <laughs> it's too cute. Oh, wow, look how it swears. It is too cute. All right, so let's see. The next one we have is the seahorse, which I think is absolutely adorable. I love the color, the different color in their fin. And the back, look how pretty that is. Oh, wow. Too cute. And then the next one we have, okay, the penguin has been here. We have two penguins. I'm sure you know about that. Uh, let's see. Where's the other ones? Oh, yes. And the shark is actually a legendary. The seahorse is... Sorry, I forgot if I mentioned it. I'm just mentioning it again. It's a case. The seahorse... Okay, we have... Here we go. The seahorse is an ultra rare. Ah, okay, here we go. I knew there was another one nearby. And we have the beautiful rainbow starfish, which is an ultra rare as well. Absolutely adorable. Isn't it with these little stones on it? Gemstones. Oh, how cute. All right. And the next one we have is... Oh, the sea bunny. It is absolutely adorable. I am shocked that the sea bunny is actually uncommon. I really thought it would be a higher level, but it's not. And it's... Uh, it's a uncommon and it is absolutely adorable with this. It's like it's a they like have leaves as their as their, their little ears. It is too cute. Oh my goodness! I don't know which one is my favorite. Oh my goodness! I think I am loving the bunny right now. Even though it's a uncommon, it is it's coming to be my my favorite right now. We have koi. This is the koi. It's fun. I mean, look at the little smile he has. He is absolutely fun. <laughs> and then the next one we have is the clownfish, which will probably be a lot of people's favorites. The koi and the clownfish is a common. I'm kind of shocked at the clownfish because it's so popular with Finding Nemo that it is actually a common, but I think it's still going to be very popular regardless. And then we have, oh my goodness, it's not an alligator, it's a crocodile, which is too adorable. I keep getting your breath. Okay, so it's the alligator with the point, their noses are more pointier. So the crocodile is rounded out. Okay, okay. I get them mixed up. I don't know if you guys do too, but I do. So these are absolutely adorable, the way they have created them. And this one is the common. I can't believe I only got, all right, nine, 12 pets. Well, let's see what I have. Let me see if I found any new ones. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Uh, oh, yes. I have the ultra rare clam, which I think is absolutely the most cutest thing. Okay, no. This is my, this is my favorite. <laughs> this one is my favorite. I think it's just too adorable. I mean, it's hidden in this little clam, but it's just, it's just like peekaboo. <laughs> and which one? What else we have here? Oh, we have the seal, which I think is so sweet. Oh, look at him. And the little smiles on them, it's just, it, it really just puts the cherry on the top. It is too cute. Okay, and the, let's see, the, what else do I have here? Oh, wait, that's right. Hermit crab. The hermit crab, oh my goodness. You know what, between the clam and the hermit crab, I don't know which one is my favorite. 
the hermit crab is actually oh my goodness it's too cute i think i have a thing for shells and okay so we have the clam that's ultra rare we have the the sealed which is a rare and then we have the hermit crab which is a uncommon okay i'm falling in love with the uncommons don't judge me <laughs> we have the walrus which i think is absolutely adorable as well look at him this is just too cute. I'm sorry. Between if you like the wars, you're gonna like the seal. If you like the seal, you like the wars. It's just it's in the same category. But then I think the wars is even cuter because of the teeth sitting here. I think that it actually makes him even cuter than the seal. Sorry, seal. <laughs> but it, it is a um, what is this? Uh, uncommon. I have quite a few, which means I can give away. Um, and then I have two crocodiles on this side, and I have a sea otter. Oh my goodness! Look, he floats. Look at that. Oh my goodness! He is so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, he is too adorable. And he is actually a common. Wow! And then we have I have a, quite a few clownfish and koi. Alrighty. So I'm gonna pull out my favorite, which is. Woo! This is hard. The clam, the sea bunny, and the hermit crab. Those are actually my favorite, but this is my all-time favorite. And let's see, for, for Yuki, let's pull the favorite out on this side. And we're going to go by... Whew. This one is hard too, as much as I like the jellyfish. I am going to say... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. To choose is so hard. The jellyfish is adorable, but I am actually liking the sea bunny. The sea bunny, and it, it, it is actually cute. <laughs> it's, why, it's, it's so cuddly, is why I like it so much. But you know what? You get to choose. I'm going to choose three winners. And you saw what I have. And the first three winners to say they want a pet from Overlook Bay that they can, from the ones I've shown today, you can ask for it, and if I the first per, first person has first first come first get. So the first person to choose is get is like automatic to get to one of the, the sea creature that they want. Second and third will get the next thing I have. Remember, we can just mail it. So all you gotta do is say in the group, Queen Pastel Play Roblox fan page. Just tell me what you want, and if I have it, then I will give it to you. Now that all the pets have been taken care of, I wish I was able to get them all, but hopefully I will in the future. But in the meantime, let's go finish taking a tour of what everything looks like under the sea. Shall we? Let's see. So we already learned about the art the teleport. We have also checked out the pet store. There are the abyss, and then we have the mermaid treasure that we have to check out as well. So here we're going to go here. We come to find a house, and in front of the house is Alana. And let's see what Alana has to say. It says, I have who sits and what sits galore, but I need more. Every 10 minutes, a new treasure chest appears down here. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Oh, it went away too quickly. I guess I was reading too slow. So overall, we have chests that they are going to be around here, and we get to, I guess, give it to her. We have this house here. I don't... Yeah, see how we can enter it. But then we have the park over here, the Reside Park, which I think is too cute. Look at this. We have this here. Okay, maybe we can stand on it, but it doesn't spin. And then we have the seesaw over here. We have the slide over here, and we have the swings. So, I'm sorry, I am in love with my little sea bunny. Isn't she adorable? Okay. And I'm going to assume that these are like little lamps down here, which I think is really pretty. It's really nice. Let's check out the abyss. Let's see if we can find that. I'm going to come on here. They said the abyss is this way. Okay, we have premium plots. And here's the abyss, but according to this, we have to wait until part three to see that. Oh, I wonder if that's trade inbound was trying to trade with me. Okay, I wonder if this is where we go to deep sea. Deep, deep sea? I can't wait for that. Okay, so deep sea fishing. Ooh. Yes. The deep sea fishing. That's probably what that is. So I look forward to seeing that. Um, let's go this way for the premium plot. And here we are. So 
If you have the game pass for the premium plot, you can move your house here. Currently, I am living in my penthouse, but if I wanted to bring my house here, I can. Just go right here, and the whole house, along with my trees, <laughs> uh, will be underwater, so we can actually tend to our trees and hang out here. And this would be a great opportunity to hang out here, especially if you're waiting for those chests. Oh, look, and there's a new event for our pets. So let's head on over there right now. Wait, so we go this way. Oops, this way. Is this a shortcut? I can't even go that far this way. It stops me. So the error is wrong, just like the GPS's. <laughs> oh my goodness, my GPS is acting up. I know where it's at, but I was just curious. Let's head on over this way. And it's going to take us to the Reef Coral Park. Oh, I should say Reef Side Park. I said it wrong. Here we go. Wait, is there more than one Reef Side Park? I don't know. I think this GPS is just being silly. Don't you think? It's over here. It's a lot. It's a lot of space over here. Well, maybe they'll expand it later. Who knows what could possibly come next? All of the bay keeps updating, and it updates a lot to our enjoyment. So I'm looking. I'm really excited for it. Well, she has the rainbow starfish, and she has the sea bunny. Very cool. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification, and share with those you know love love sea creatures. Everyone, please have fun and stay safe. Till next time. Ame Yuki, signing out. Bye-bye now.